every director's cut you've ever seen owes itself to the Twilight Zone. The director's cut has become a well-known phenomenon in modern movie making. It's typically understood that big studios own the final cut of their movies. The idea of a director's cut in Hollywood only dates back to 1961, when Elliot Silverstein was hired to direct an episode of the Twilight Zone called The Obsolete Man. He shot the episode to his preference, including some really abstract moments. But when it came time to edit the episode, he was iced out of the creative process. Silverstein came to learn that TV directors were pretty powerless in this situation. So he filed a complaint with the DGA, the Directors Guild of America. And together with Sidney Pollack, Robert Altman, and a bunch of other directors, they drafted the Director's Bill of Rights. Published in 1964, it included the first naming of a director's cut. Meaning the studio can still have final cut, but at some point in the process, the director deserves the right to assemble the project to their liking, before the studio starts changing it. The concept of a director's cut then became mainstream in the 1980s with the re-release of Close Encounters and the various versions of Blade Runner. 